Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about phylum Porifera. Now, this important animal phylum, it includes simple metazoans, and they are known as sponges. The name Porifera means to have pores. Now, these sponges, they have tiny hole in their body. Now, these sponges, they are aquatic. Mostly, they are marine, means they live in the oceans and they are most abundant in the warm waters. The porifera animals, they are multicellular and they are sessile and sedentary. That means that they attach to the base or bed or rock inside the oceans and they spend most of their life attaching to the surface. And they have some collar cells, they are called coenocytes. These are flagellated cells they have certain larvae which have flagella and they have the ability to swim while the adult sponges they remain attached to some solid object and they stay sessile for the rest of their life now in a simple sponge when we talk about the mode of nutrition water enters through those hundreds of tiny pores they are called ostia and passing into the central cavity which is called as spongocele and then it flows out through the open end which is called osculum. So through these processes it helps in the transport of food from outside and it reaches inside which they eat, they consume those food as a main source for them. Now when we talk about their larvae, the Collar cells, these sponges are made up of tiny collar cells. This is the structure of a collar cell. It has a nucleus and it has a definite flagellum which helps in the making in the current. It helps in the movement of water from inside and outside. These collar cells, they actually make up the inner layer of the sponges and this flagellum creates the water current which brings food and oxygen towards the sponge cells and carries away carbon dioxide and other waste molecules. Now, these collar cells, they also have the ability to trap and eat those food particles and synthesize their own food by digesting them. Now, sponges, they produce both sexually as well as asexually. In asexual reproduction, simply budding off or breakage of the portion of sponges takes place and that broken part has the full capability to grow as individual sponge or it can attach to the parent sponge and grow as an individual organism. Now, this uh, when we talk about the sexual reproduction, most of the sponges, they are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites mean they both have male as well as female reproductive gametes. Now, same individuals, they can produce eggs and sperms during sexual reproduction. And these sexual uh, reproduction results in the synthesis, in the production of new species and new organisms of phylum porifera. Now some, uh, some examples of phylum porifera include Cycon, Spongilla, and Hylonema, etc.